Uh, back in late July, early August, I posted a video titled Life Vlog, and I was experiencing massive, massive change in my personal life, and at the time, I couldn't think of anything else to do but turn on the camera and talk to all of you. And I still get a lot of messages asking me how things are going. So I thought I would take a second to kind of let you know. At the time, I had just started divorce proceedings with my then wife. And within about four or five weeks, I had lost my job at Boeing. I worked for Boeing for almost nine years. I was a uh, higher up in the quality assurance department. I had my own desk, cubicle, a little, some office things. And basically the skinny of it is a coworker that I kind of knew had a problem with me and he reported me for some things that were not true, but in the ensuing investigation, they found that I had gone on the internet outside of my lunch hour and being completely against the rules, they fired me on the spot. And be that as it may, uh, I lost my job that day. And watching the video now, the original live blog video now is a little weird because I can instantly go back to that moment because I had been fired literally an hour before I made that video. I drove home, I was so shell-shocked that I turned on the camera and threw basically a Hail Mary of just, I don't, I don't know really what I was expecting. But as a result of that video, I had so many people contact me, email me, call me, text message me, their support, and love and admiration, um, people that I would have never expected to actually hear from or that I was even aware that watched this stuff. But it was truly, truly amazing and for that, I thank you. So what have I been doing since the original Life Vlog video? Well, I got a job as uh, kind of an artist rep brand manager for Panama Guitars and Amps, in addition to what the one I already had with Two Notes. And I'm also the so social media guy for Everton Guitar Bridges. And as a result, I have not had to go and get a job when combined with the income I make from the AdSense from this YouTube channel. So I have been in the music industry full time. Now it was a little rough at first because initially during that transition period, there would be some times where I would literally be waiting for the AdSense check to come in so I could then go to the grocery store and buy a loaf of bread and some soup which I was totally fine with because I no longer had to do a nine to five job. I didn't have to commute anymore. And really at the time, it kind of seemed too good to be true. I was also looking back a little, I was still a little shocked. I was still taking everything in within the span of five weeks. I had gotten a divorce, lost my job and my health insurance, and my head was spinning to say the least. And I would often just sit on my back porch and just stare out in the empty field for hours at a time, just wondering what to do with myself. And as my friend Mike put it, the universe has pushed you into the pool and maybe it's time to swim. And that's what I did. I took the leap of faith and I just, I started making a lot of videos, a lot more gear videos, pretty much a lot more everything. And I tried to up the quality, the camera quality, the audio quality. I, I started to work, you know, put a lot of time and work really hard into this whole crazy YouTube thing, and it worked. The Hail Mary worked. It was caught by you guys, and you guys ran with it. I ran with it. I started the band, Rest Repose, and our record went to number nine on iTunes. I have a signature guitar coming out. Um, things couldn't actually be better right now, and the irony is I'm doing all the things me and my now ex-wife used to dream about me doing, but that couldn't have happened unless it happened the way it actually did. Really, my point with all this stuff is if you are in a kind of situation like I was in, or it seems like there is no way out, take the leap of faith and just give yourself the tools and the power to just do something that you wouldn't think is right or possible. Just Seriously, just do it. It's it's gonna be okay. And if you've been through a divorce or you've been fired from your your job that you've had a while, 
it's going to be okay. Really, it's, it all works out fine. Don't lose hope and do, don't lose faith and really lean on your friends because that's what they're for. When I, that all first happened, my good friend Jared Dines was over at my house every single day. And that's no exaggeration. He was coming over every single day to check up on me. And for that, I am internally grateful for that man and would do anything for him uh, without question. So yeah, now it is seven months later or something like that, six, seven, eight months later, and 2016 is on par to be a very, very good year. Way, way better already than the cluster that was 2015, the greatest and worst year of my entire life. But again, if you're going through something like that, don't lose faith that it will get better because I can tell you now that it does. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate it, and I will see you soon.